Breaking news, January 26th, 2024. Happy Friday, everybody. Let's see what's trending in the news and all over X, formerly known as Twitter. And guess what it is? Civil War. Our team uncovered a shadow terminal, for example, inside Chicago O'Hare Airport. Hundreds of migrants were being hidden there secretly. Our team pulled up with cameras rolling, and at first we didn't see much. The city erected a black tarp to hide what was going on. And a third party security group paid for with your tax dollars told us that was prohibited. We weren't allowed to see. What are you doing? I want to look inside. For what? For what? Inside, our team found more than a hundred beds on the floor. The smell was overpowering, repulsive. Even police stations in Chicago have been turned into refugee camps. This is new video never seen before of what's actually happening inside Chicago's police stations. Keep in mind, the people who work in those police stations are paid to protect you, but that's not what they're doing. They're running refugee camps for illegal aliens. We spoke to someone who has lived on the south side of Chicago virtually his entire life. He's enraged by how the city has fallen apart under its sanctuary city policy. Yeah, something big is happening. I don't know if you have seen this, Texas Governor Greg Abbott say he is prepared in the event Biden attempt to take control of the Texas National Guard. That would be a boneheaded move on his part, a total disaster. Abbott said we are prepared in the event that unlikely even does occur. We do have other armed state employees on the border as we speak right in this minute and that is the Texas Department of Public Safety as well as other law enforcement officers as well as National Guard from other states and you can be assured there will be more National Guard from other states and more law enforcement officers within the state of Texas and other states. And guess what it is? Civil War. The deadline of the showdown between Texas Governor Greg Abbott and Biden and his Biden administration is today. There's already been some tension between Greg Abbott and Joe Biden and his administration over the southern border and a lack of security down there. But tensions escalated this week over the Supreme Court's ruling of taking razor wire down. After that ruling was made, Greg Abbott come out and said that this is not over yet. And I stand with Texas, God bless you. Honestly, I still can't believe that Joe Biden is pushing towards a civil war instead of securing the southern border. Eagle Pass is now Texas's Fort Sumter. There is a saying that history does repeat itself, and is that what's happening right now in 2024? There is a lot of chatter everywhere, all social media platforms, and in the news about a civil war that's going to start. I do feel like the feds are staging for civil war and I do believe that Texas should stand their ground because you all have a lot of support from everywhere, from people in 25 other states. Now wouldn't this be easy to resolve if the Biden administration would just join forces with Greg Abbott down there in Texas and secure that border? Now if Biden did that, that would end the chance of a civil war and be the best for our national security in the United States. Anyway, I 100% back Texas, and we'll see what happens today. Yes, Greek abortus Dr. Carson that he is prepared for potential conflict with federal authorities and 10 states have sent National Guard to the Texas border. It's something one should be concerned about. Now, I didn't expect that it would reach this level. It surely tells you the Biden administration is helping, you know, to allow people to come in. At a certain point, Texas Guard, Texas National Guard soldiers, and National Guard soldiers from other states <coughs> are being used to frustrate federal authority. They are being used to get in the way of federal immigration enforcement and to flout a court order from a federal court. At what point does the president step in and say, enough of that, these are American soldiers, I am federalizing the National Guard and ordering them to let the Border Patrol do their jobs because they took an oath to the Constitution and I am their commander in chief. When does that, when does enough become enough? So I'll say this, 
I'm not going to speculate on any actions the president could could use. I'm just not. I, I'm, not I'm just not going to do that. Uh, it is very clear, uh, and I would remind everyone that uh, the circumstances under which the federal uh, government can mobilize a state's national guard are outlined in the law, right? So. That, that I'll leave that there, uh, but I'm just not going to uh, get into speculations on any actions the president's going to take at this time. And I'm going to reiterate, I'm going to reiterate, if these Republican governors actually cared about doing something to, uh, to deal with the challenges at the border, about doing something, real meaningful actions, right, to deal with the immigration system, that's been broken for decades under Democrats, under Republicans, not just this president, then they would they would reach out to their representative, their congressional representatives, you know, their senators and congress members in their state, who they I'm assuming they know well. I'm assuming they've worked with them on issues that that deals with the federal 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 government. They should talk to them and say, hey, we need you, Congressman X. We need you, Senator X, in my state to work with Congress to. At what point does the president step in and say enough of that, these are American soldiers, I am federalizing the National Guard and ordering them to let the border patrol do their job, I am their commander-in-chief. Okay, this is a question that suffers to carry in particular to what is going on. It is insane to see her continue to talk like this. Democrat actually wanted to do this, like to pass this bill at this time, so it should be a boost to Biden campaign. They thought people won't realize. Now Democrats are freaking out on social media that Trump is a cause why this bill cannot be passed because he instructed that they should not vote for this bill, you know, to give Biden a boost during this campaign. It is a strategy, you know, ask yourself, why they allow this only now they want to do this? The Biden administration knows what exactly they are doing. You can see them coming in now, they want to do or they want to put up the border because they've realized that is what voters want. You know, they are more concerned about that border issue than anything. I watched an interview on CNN where they asked voters what is their greatest issue, the border Crisis is the highest. ...that authorizes any law enforcement officer in the state of Texas to be able to arrest anybody coming across the border illegally. Have you spoken to the president or anyone from the Biden White House about what appears to be uh, an imminent collision? I have not, to be clear. Uh, I have spoken to the president about the border. Uh, I met him on a tarmac in El Paso and talked to him directly about what was going on. I handed him a letter that had in it immediate solutions he could take that would immediately secure the border without the need of any new law to be passed. Despite the fact that I handed him uh, on altogether eight different letters, he has refused to ever respond. My point in telling you that we have laid down the precursor of what's called Article, Ar Article 4, Section 4 of the United States Constitution to show that uh, we have been invaded According to this tweet, they are report that the Biden administration is now threatening military actions against the Texas National Guard unless they remove the National Guard from the border by 1 p.m. ...of that, which is they hate me. They hate me to the point they're willing to kill me, which they are. Pronouns are